Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Civilization 4, Cape Mount the Cosmos, with me, Edgar Corbin, playing as Ben Gurion of the Israeli Empire. Uh, we're going to finish it here, because there's no fucking chance. It's not fun. Uh, sorry, I'm just hooking up. Um, I talked with a couple of people, and they also think it is bugged. It definitely seems it. Um, I was meant to check something with this stack over here. Is it run by uh, the leader? Is not uh yeah. It's not what they said it might be. Okay. Um. They might be with mortar because it's run by a mortar. A mortar can't take a city, so they just bounce around the city. Anyway, yeah, thanks very much for watching. We'll go through the end game stuff that I usually do, and then next game I'm going to completely uh, uninstall Civ 4 game, um, Beyond the Sword, Civ 4, delete every single thing from my computer to do with Civ 4, and then we'll look into doing some. Uh, then we'll uh, reinstall Caveman the Cosmos DSVN and next game I will try my damnedest to make my character as strong as I physically can and we will go to space. Next game we are getting to space. I expect to be beyond industrial lifestyle before 2965. I don't expect to build much in the way of uh, monetary income or really anything else. I'll be focusing heavily on food, um, production and science, as per usual. Food, uh, production first, food second, science third. And then um, I'll just try to keep my economy afloat. If my economy is afloat, I'll be re uh, building research. If it's not afloat, I'll be building uh, wealth, production buildings. Um, yeah. And I'm going to also do certain things like uh, so if I look at uh, buildings here, where were we? Um, let's go to one of my new cities. So if I go to here and say I look at this building, not this building, uh, this building. So it gives me two hammers, uh, but it takes 14,000, uh, 1,424 uh, hammers to complete. It will pay it off by in 700 turns. Um, so what I'm going to do as well is look through these kind of things and see how long it takes to pay off. If it takes too long to pay off I'm probably not going to be building it. One hammer is one hammer, yes. It's nice to have an extra hammer but it take these take 768 turns to pay off, this takes 584 turns to pay off, this takes 528 turns to pay off. If it if I don't need to build it, I will probably look into not building it. Um, but then if I go here and I look at production, this would pay itself off in, dependent on how much uh, hammers I got, really. Um, but it would pay itself off much, much, much faster. This one will pay itself off in another 750 turns. I think if it pays itself off in over a thousand turns, I probably won't build it. We'll see how things go. Um, yeah. So, let's check how things look. You've been defeated, I know. Yeah, let's play this. We'll see how things go. I forgot so much. Um, I started here. I'm pretty sure someone else started on this continent. Or was it Arabia? No, the Celts started here, didn't they? I don't remember. Something was definitely bugged in this game. It was such a long, long game as well. Um, oh no, the Celts were over here. The Arabians were here. I had this whole island to myself. 
the Incans spawned up here, the Americans spawned down here, I killed the Americans uh, with the Incan Telt, the Russians spawned here, um, oh, I, Asteria spawned here, and Zulu spawned here? No, the Netherlands spawned here, where does Zulu spawn? Here? Here. Zulu can basically conquer this. Uh, I'm really surprised about the Aztecs doing such a good job. Um, Persia spawned here and Byzantine spawned here. Byzantine seemed really, really bugged for most of the game. Uh, they kept going down to like four uh, pop pretty consistently, actually. Oh, the Portuguese. I forgot the Portuguese were in this game. Look at this mess of an island. Look at the mess. My island is clean. The Aztec's island is clean. Uh, this island's fairly clean. Uh, this island's a mess. But look at this fucking. Look at this landmass. It's a goddamn mess. It's a border gore and a half. It took me ages to even like think about going to war, but eventually it did. Uh, I don't remember who it was against. But, well, it took me ages to even get to see everybody. But yeah, next game, I'm probably going to not roleplay it at all and go purely into trying to look into making my empire as strong as I physically can. When it comes to tech, tech is pretty much the best. Um, if I've got many AI beside me, I'll probably think about um, killing them off if I'm on the same island as them but otherwise I don't think I will I don't know if this is the same every single time I think it is I'll have to double check I know all of this is the same every time I don't know if this is the same every time I also don't remember if I have to install a certain thing. <laughs> Man, it's such a long game that it's lagging just loading this up. <laughs> Yeah, I've get completely destroyed all that, okay. The Americans did a decent job, but the Incans just were so far ahead. I didn't realize the Aztecs had an island here. Oh no, that was like a hundred years ago, okay. Oh, well, that's be killing off the Americans there. This would be around about the time Incans declared war on me for no reason. This is me killing off the uh, Russians. Yeah. There we go. Russians were more like almost dead. I would say the Incans won that game pretty handedly. Uh, closely followed by I would say the Aztecs. The Aztecs may not have a lot of score, but they're so far ahead in tech. Um, and then followed by either me or Zulu. But size matters is not fucking happening yet in this game. This doesn't bother me really whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, if I look at this, you can see how I can get dead throughout the game. Pretty much always. Once we got to about here, 
by 6000 BC, they pretty much just stayed ahead of the game the whole time, which is crazy. Yeah. Top five cities. Inca, Aztecs, Aztecs, Israel, Aztecs. Those are massive fucking cities compared to mine. I ha my biggest city was like, what size, 40? Uh, the AI just went crazy. And then we have the Edison's, Broadway, Grumman's, Chinese theater. Like these are so far ahead. These are close to the end of um, this era. Uh, yeah, like I was so far behind that game. It's not even funny. Uh, the most amount of units I built was supply caravans oh yeah because i tried yeah that's another thing i don't need to do next game yeah that, that was a dumb thing i wanted to try it that's why i did it we built jails was the most amount we built uh other than that arboretums jails was very close to the end of the game though and we have sh the most amount of shaft mines the most amount of uh improvements at shaft mines and then farms. We built 21 cities. We had, I don't remember how many we had, um, like 40 something. So we conquered a hell of a lot more. We lost 29 muskets and we killed 133 sharks. Other than that, uh, explorers and guard dogs were the most things we killed. Oh, I mean dogs. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it was a fun game. Even if it bugged out in the end of the game. I actually really enjoyed not being stupidly strong compared to the AI. It's always nice. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next playthrough. Have fun, people. And goodbye.